All right, good morning, everybody. So here is the package that I was hoping yesterday to have opened up on live, but again, it was being held hostage for a short time by the post office. So anyway, I got it today. We're gonna open it up now. Uh, this was sent to me by Night Owl and has a bunch of goodies in there, uh, a bunch of stuff that I could really use. Um, so we're going to see, see what all exactly is in there. I know most of what's in here, um, but we're going to take a look at it. Start here. Okay. Get an A series latch. Um, that's for the uh, A series lock that I took apart and cleaned and eventually got back together yesterday on live. So we'll set this over here. Uh, next thing. Okay, this is a. Yeah, this is a key I needed him to make, and he sent me some pins along with it and springs. Very cool. Awesome. Thank you, sir. I will use that for what I need. All right, cool. And these are some M18 uh, key blanks. And in addition to master lock padlocks, they're also used for... Uh, couple storm door locks and I've got somebody from work who needs a storm door lock uh, cut out of one of these so I'm gonna do that for them this week now um, let's see here are some let's see what kind of blanks are these y6 yep y6 blanks which um, apparently have a very similar profile to the M18s. Um, so I've got some of them as well if I need them. Didn't have any Y6 in my stock over there. Here are, let's see, some more blanks. Uh, some star blanks that are, let's see, the five REI, um, which again are similar. No, these are for reading. Um, so that would go for, I believe, it'll go for this. Yep. So that is for the uh, reading locks, like this one that I've shown and talked about before. Awesome. Can make some keys for it now. Okay, let's see some spring steel, which I've needed some of this um, again for repairing those mortise locks that I've gotten. It's uh, let's see some assorted widths and thicknesses. Very cool. Okay, some space and depth keys here for Yale large pin. So those are all on the Y2 key blank. Going all the way down to cut number nine. Awesome. And some new Schlag space and depth keys here. And these are a different key. These are original uh, key blanks, original Schlag blanks. Um, these should be a little more, I don't know if they're a little more accurate or if they just uh, won't wear down quite as fast. I think both. Um, Bill Bacardi gave me my first set of Schlag uh, space and depth keys, um, but I'm afraid I might have worn them down a little bit, so I'm going to try cutting some stuff with that. 
And then <clears throat> somewhere in here is also something else to help with that. Uh, we'll see when we get to it. Okay, here is, okay, for the reading, um, this mortise lock, you see this is the original key, goes in, turns, and I had to repin this lock um, to get that to work. I still haven't gotten that video done yet, but here's the one Night Owl did for me, and of course it works perfect. Awesome. Let's see some okay, some screws uh, for mortise lock. So I can actually replace these homemade ones I put in here and uh, replace them with some real ones um, that are designed for that. Very cool. I will do that. And here are more space and depth keys. Uh, Hudson uh, disc or wafer lock space and depth keys, which these are used. Um, of course, the space and depth is uh, for these are pretty universal uh, through more than just Hudson hardware, um, but gives a good space and depth reference. And then also for Let's see okay these are just decoding keys on the y11 so basically what you would do is pick the wafer lock and then you could run these in and these are uh, cut to one depth the entire length of the key so you can run them in and see exactly what cut um, you know kind of progressively decode at least the first you know hopefully two or three of course if you have a really deep cut in the front uh that's about as far as you're going to get but at least you'll have somewhere to start and then you can sort of progressively uh, work those down to what's next so again very awesome Next we have National uh, Space and Depth, again on the RO3 blanks, and y'all have seen me work on one of those locks to try to decode, and some more decoder keys working the same way. So you can see how they're cut down, it's not uh, spaced out, it's just that one depth the entire length of the blade of the key. Then we have, have some calibration keys. This is what I was talking about just a second ago. Um, for see calibration keys for my uh, duplicator. which are Schlage original blanks. Uh, that way I can see exactly where the blade is hitting. And I think that's been part of my problem. Um, and then some others. Focus, there we go. Um, also for calibration. That way I can, uh, with these I can put one in each side and then uh, run the stylus down to the bottom of this cut and then align it so that the bottom, so that the uh, uh, cutting wheel will align to the same place on the other one. Uh, of course, you don't do that with the machine running. You just, you do it with it powered off and that will help um, make sure you get everything calibrated correctly. And then looks like we got some more space and depth and decoder keys. Let's see. Chicago single sided wafer, space and depth. 
and then Chicago uh, decoder keys. Again, each one progressively cut a little bit lower than the last to each depth, but then running the entire length of the blade. And then let's see what's in here. See, this is heavy. I don't remember exactly what this is or if I knew there was one. Okay. From Packlock. Saw what the label says. Don't know if y'all saw that. <laughs> it's a uh, paperweight brass bodied paperweight with their logo on it go pack lock beat master that's awesome it's a pretty cool paperweight there i've never had a paperweight before actually so yeah this is this is still pretty cool it's just a solid solid chunk of brass um, there it is right there. High security paperweight. Still more pick resistant than Master Lock, I bet. So anyway, Night Owl, I really, really appreciate all the goodies, um, all the help and advice you've given me. And, um, of course, always showing up to Saturday Live. That's always nice and helpful. And... Uh, yeah, I'm going to put all of this to really, really good use. So, again, everybody, thank you for watching. Night Owl, thank you again, my friend. And I hope everybody's having a great weekend. I know everybody has to go back to work tomorrow, at least here in the U.S. But, you know, hey, it's been a good weekend. So, anyway, y'all stay safe, stay healthy, stay out of trouble, and we'll see you next time.